Are you stuck in the trap? The trap that society has set around us. I'm not a crazy conspiracy theorist or anything like that. But what I mean is I got caught in the trap. And it takes as long as getting into the trap that it does is take it getting out of it. And what I mean by the trap is the American fucking dream. I moved to the beautiful and nice area known as Morristown, New Jersey, voted number one place to live. I got an apartment there, had a car, I had internet, I had a beautiful girlfriend, I had it all. Got a pet, yada yada yada. But I was so, eventually I was just felt like I was trapped. It was like I was working two jobs and I had to work those two jobs or everything would just, within a week, fall the fucking part. You know, it's like, I'm working six days a week, three doubles a week, and what do I have to show for it? I have this home, but I'm only there a few hours aside from sleeping. So I felt trapped. I felt like I'm... The delivery job that I had, my car was old, it was falling apart. I relied on that car, so when something had to happen to it, I had to fix it. So I could have a savings of a thousand and go right back into the car, you know? So I didn't feel like I had any options. But I do now. And it took me a long time. I shouldn't say a fucking long time because I'm just a first world problem little sissy. But it did take take a good while. All right, I I moved out of my place. I moved in with some beautiful, nice vegan people. I rent two bedrooms for four hundred. Town's not as nice, but it's not bad. It's literally like fucking safe and shit. Which you guys seen, I have one as a bedroom, I turn one to the studio for YouTube and movies and whatnot. But basically I downgraded. Now instead of paying the six hundred a month, plus all the other bullshit that comes with an apartment, I'm paying four hundred a month. My car broke down. So that means I'm not paying hundred and fifteen in insurance. I'm not paying forty in gas every week. And I'm not like fixing repairs. So that frees up more money. Now, I'm not saying I have a lot of money, because now I'm only working 15 to 20 hours a week. It's enough to pay my shit. I'm eating a lot of brown rice so that I can afford it. But I feel, I feel fucking so much lighter, so much freer. You know, I could just wake up, go back to sleep if I want, on most days. I could wake up and take my fucking time and just sip on some water. Literally, before, it'd be like, wake up. Chug a liter of water, chug a banana smoothie, which I love doing, but then I'm driving around with a fucking smoothie, spilling it and shit. It's not worth it, man. And I'm in a fucking, between a hard and a rock place because I want to live with my beautiful girlfriend. I want to live with her. I want to, I want to live my life with her. And I need to make money to do that because she won't live with me where I'm at now. Because... The vegan couple I'm staying with has four dogs, and we have a cat. So that means I'm either going to have to get a job. I'm sure it won't be a bad job. I'm not going to go. I'm not driving anymore. I'm riding my bike around, at least for the time being. Fuck driving. I drove enough. I drove enough for a fucking lifetime. Like 700 miles a week for a couple years. It's like, fuck that. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. But what I'm saying is, right now, I just, I do want that break. I just want to train a bit, eat good, sleep a lot, hydrate. But there's that balance. So, my ultimate, my fucking ultimate goal, which would be awesome, is to start making money from ebooks, YouTube, and coaching people. That would be awesome, right? And... <clears throat> It's not like I want to sell people something they don't want. I legit want to help people get healthy and strong and help the planet and help the animals. So the end goal would be to make money, to take this time I actually have that I'm so lucky to have and really put it towards social media and YouTube. And hopefully I can create an income so that I could support myself, support my girlfriend going back to school 
that we can live in an awesome neighborhood with a clean, you know, legit area and a nice place and we can just enjoy each other. We can enjoy each other, which is my goal, get her out of that place she lives. So guys, are you trapped? If you feel trapped, let me know down below. I'll make a fucking video about your comment. A whole fucking video, because I need to make more videos today. Before 12 o'clock. 